Hello everybody and welcome back to our My GM series in WWE 2K22. I of course am Sierra Daredevil and it is week 4 of the 50 week journey Omaha, Nebraska. We are at the go home for WrestleMania Backlash and we're going to have to see how tonight plays out. Our roster is a little sore, a little banged up. Drew McIntyre is at 43 stamina, Bianca Belair is at 44, Balor is at 47, but he's doing the the um, the thingy with the stuff. Um, <laughs> he's doing the the rest and recovery. Uh, so yeah, gonna be an interesting show this week because um, we're gonna have to rest some people and kind of go from there. But we will see how it all plays out. Um, we're gonna book the show. We're gonna have a call out promo tonight. Balor's or McIntyre's gonna call out Balor. To increase that pop, that rivalry. We're also going to have a call out. Uh, we're going to have. Um, actually, no, we're not going to do that. We are going to have. I can do that in the main event or in the opener. Look at that here. Asuka is going to take on Shotzi in a normal matchup. And Shayna Baszler is going to run in and attack Asuka. Actually, what's Shayna's 52? Yeah, but in order to get the journal goal, we have to run, do running on the champ, one of the champions. So, you know, what? I want to, I want to see something really quick here. I just want to see what would happen. Where's my other females at? Oh, never mind. I wasn't thinking correctly there. Um, let's see here. Let's use this on Actually, we don't need to use it on her. Cuz we'll have Bianca, yeah, well, Bianca call out Reckoning to continue that rivalry. Um, so I want to do, just because I want to see what happens with this here, Dakota Kai and Reckoning. That's not going to work out like I wanted to, so. Can I do this? I 
I can. Okay. I wasn't sure if it counted the tag team champions as one of the champions to be run in on. Um, so then if I can do that, what is, uh, I'm getting way too many people on my roster here. She's a fighter. So I would need a heel bruiser. I was going to do that. Or I could heal, uh, do heal. Uh, heal specialist, but that's not going to work. And I don't really want to put Bianca in a match because she's kind of feeling sore. I also don't want Shayna to run out on this matchup. She's going to feel be feeling sore as well. Especially since it's the go home. Yeah, we'll do that. That'll work. I own this. Sorry, I got the music still playing on the thing over, and so it just randomly kind of cut off a song there. Dawkins and Nakamura to get to level three. Um, It's going to end up being a really weird go-home show. <laughs> Money to be dropping on him.
Um, you know, I want to do something real quick here. Maybe I don't want to do something here. <laughs> The show is not going to do that well. I'm going to tell you that right now. We're not going to use him in a match. I just want to, I'm going to save him as well. Uh, bo, 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 bo. Yeah, this is gonna be a very ugly card. <laughs> I'm kind of stump. I'm kind of struggling with this one here. Uh, actually, no. to see that in the main event. Now we'll do this tables match. There we go. That's not going to turn out to be that good of a matchup, honestly.
It's not going to be a clean show. It's going to be a very iffy show. But we got to recover some stamina before the pay-per-view. So we're going to run this as is. See what happens. I can't believe that is this. Um, we're going to send Shayna to the health spa this week. And we're not going to buy any of those right now. All right, it's not a clean show. It's going to be a rough one, but we're going to run it as is. I really like the idea that you really have to kind of struggle with the stamina in this. All right, opening contest, tables matchup. One half of the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, Dakota Kai, taking on Reckoning one-on-one match, or tables match here. Reckoning gets the victory in this tables matchup. Thanks to Shotzi coming in and interfering. One and a half star match. Not a great rating. Tommaso Ciampa with a promo. Gets a good rating. Gets us 5,000 fans. Mid card. Just a regular one-on-one -on -one matchup. Fabian Eichner taking on Angelo Dawkins. And Fabian Eichner gets the victory in a one and a half star rated matchup. Bianca Belair calling out Reckoning. Increasing their popularity to or the rivalry to level two. Mid card matchup: two jobbers taking on Taylor Tyler Bate and Oni Lorkin. One, two, three. And Lorkin and Bate get the victory. Two star match. Advertising from Drew McIntyre get us sixteen thousand dollars. Lost seven in popularity. Then the main event tables matchup. Isaiah Swerve Scott and Mace going at it. One, two, and Mace gets the victory in a four-star rated matchup. Level four rating for the rivalry there. SmackDown's going to kick our butt this week for sure. TLC matches. Ronda Rousey finally makes her in-ring debut on SmackDown. One, two, three. And she gets the victory. Three-star match. For that one there. Walter with a promo. Got him fans. Naomi and Mandy Rose. Naomi gets the victory here. One and a half star match. Charity for Lince Dorado. It was an embarrassing promo, but I still got him 5,000 fans. Tony Storm and Tamina going at it. And Tamina gets the victory. One and a half star match. Kushida calling out Johnny Gargano before the pay-per-view. And then the main event, Jordan Devlin and R-True taking on Omos and Brock Lesnar with a run-in by Johnny Gargano for some reason. Non-title matchup either, or as well. Lesnar and Omos get the victory in a three-star match there. Still no injuries for them. Well, we still had good booking. So, there's that. Uh, let's see. Gain some popularity for them there. Dakota Kai with 35 stamina though, so probably won't be able to, uh, be on the next show. Dawkins and Aikner gain some popularity there. That match did what it was supposed to, I guess. It was what it was. In the main event, big time four-star rated tables matchup. 
And uh, there's that. Swerve, Scott, and Mace are both fantastic at tables matches. So that's good to see. 63,000 fans we gained, though. And we got $22,000 profit. So there's that. It wasn't a great show, but it was a show. And we got the injury rehab card. 1.3 million fans. They only got 66,000 fans, though. So we actually were not too far off from their gain. And they only got just under $4,000 in profit for the week. So despite the fact that we had a rough show, we're still only 6,500 fans behind them as we head into the paper, our first pay-per-view. That's not bad. That's not bad. Also, Brock Lesnar is the WWE champion, by the way, despite the fact that he is uh, in a tag team feud. Tyler Bates says that his contract with NXT is up at the end of the week. He'd be interested in saying the cost would be 12 k um, could you do it for 8k? All right. So he, I have to meet his asking price. You know what? He's been okay. We'll keep him. He doesn't appreciate the be low ball. Whatever. I don't care. Triple H. Says Reckoning in Dakota Kai was a bit of a mismatch. I don't care. I get that. I know Triple H. It's fine. You're fine. Nakamura says that he wants to team up with Mace. Uh, sure. We'll see how that works out. I can make Nakamura and Mace work. And Asuka says she's been benched and she can't wait to get back in the ring. She's looking for a match on tonight's card. And we are going to have her in a match for sure. All right, pay-per-view time. WrestleMania Backlash happening here tonight. Well, we're not going to be doing that commissioner goal. <laughs> we're not, we're not going to be doing that one. So we're going to miss out on our first commissioner goal. Because uh, we promised Asuka a match this week. And we've got McIntyre, who uh, is looking forward to competing, to make an appearance at the pay-per-view. Yeah, we're not resting our current champion, so. Can't get every commissioner goal. Like I said, we're going to try our best to try to get every single one of them, but we weren't going to get every single one of them. I feel like for sure, at least as long as we're in the weekly shows, that we're fine. Pay-per-views are a little different. Especially when he gives us this one. Like, if, if we had this one on a weekly show, I'd be fine with that. But this is the pay-per-view. We can't afford to do that. So our main event, as you can probably guess, Drew McIntyre, Finn Balor. Time to let them do that tables match thing. Or do I want to do Extreme Rules? We're going to go Extreme Rules. Title match. That's happening there. Opening contest. Asuka is defending against Shayna Baszler. They are going to do Extreme Rules title matchup. Uh, mid card. Kodakai needs to rest, so I can't really put her in a match tonight. Singles match, Bianca and Reckoning, one-on-one. -on -one. Do that in mid-card there. Another mid-card match we're going to have. Oni Lorcan, Tyler Bate, taking on Tommaso Ciampa and Fabian Eichner. Tables match. Tag team titles on the line. We're going to crown our first NXT Tag Team Champions. 
And then we're also going to have Swerve Sky and Mace going at it tonight. Actually, you know what? TLC match for those guys. We're going to move this over. We're going to move that around. The NXT Women's Title Match is going to be our semi-main. We'll just do that as a tables match. There you go. Those are our matches. Promo-wise. Um... Dawkins is going to call a Nakamura on the show. Shotzi's going to do a promo on the show. Oh god, didn't want to do that. Oh, alright. We can only release one at a time. I literally just brought them in just a job at that point. They weren't gonna be staying. Um Yeah, we're gonna bring in Billy K. Even though that was a lot of money. There we go. Oh, we can do the WrestleMania Backlash Arena. Uh, that's a lot of money we'd be using up, though. We can't afford the show. <laughs> um, we're going to go to road crew on this one. We're going to take a random chance here. We're only going to do that arena. I'm 
We're taking a hell of a chance on this one. Because if we can fill that to capacity at $12 a price for a ticket, that is a big boost to then compared to the 30,000 we would make off of here if we sold, if we were full capacity. So this would be, oops. Hundred fifty thousand if we sold it, if we filled it up, which I think we have the card for. Might be able to do a couple, something else just to make it decent-ish. We can't afford that. I don't really care about the morale boost for this show. Yeah, we needed a popularity boost, but that's all right. All right. It's going to be rough. We're going to be have, struggling on the money right now, but I think we'll, we'll make it work. Time to run it. Time for WrestleMania Backlash. We're definitely going to have to book some cheap show next week. <laughs> Opener, TLC match, Isaiah Swerve Scott versus Mace. Swerve Scott gets the victory. Four-star rated matchup, completing the rivalry. Good stuff there. Nakamura with a promo. Gained his 5,000 fans. Uh, probably need to cut back on my promos too, by the way. That also kind of costs us some money there. But anyway, tag team titles on the line. Tyler Bay and Oni Lurkin taking on Fabian Eichner and Tommaso Ciampa in a tables matchup. Tommaso Ciampa and Fabian Eichner, your new NXT tag team champions. Three and a half star rated matchup for that. Billy Kay making her debut in NXT. She doesn't gain any popularity. Bianca Belair and Reckoning going at it. One on one. And Reckoning gets the victory in a three-star rated matchup. Shotzi with a promo. Gets us 5,000 fans. NXT Women's Championship on the line. Asuka defending against Shayna Baszler in a tables matchup. And Shayna Baszler is your new NXT Women's Champion in a three-star rated tables match. Angelo Dawkins calling out King Nakamura. Green gets that rivalry up higher. And then your main event, NXT Championship on the line. Finn Balor challenging Drew McIntyre in an Extreme Rules matchup. And Drew McIntyre retains the NXT women, Women's, the NXT Championship in a five-star rated matchup. Completing the rivalry. Big stuff there from NXT. We're going to have to see what SmackDown brings to the Ross to this. We got the SmackDown tag team titles on the line. Almost a Brock Lesnar defending against Jordan Devlin and R-Truth. At least I think they're the champs. Anyway. Tag titles on the line. R-Truth and Jordan Devlin. Actually, they they actually retained. So, the rivalry is complete there. Tamina's calling out Tony Storm. To a good rating. Ronda Rousey and Natalya in a non-title matchup. Natalia gets the victory. Two and a half star match. Tony Storm with a promo. Well, gets 5,000 fans for them. Johnny Gargano and Kushida one on one in a normal matchup. And Kushida getting the victory. Three and a half star rated match. Ending the rivalry there. Naomi and Mandy Rose going at it. And Naomi getting the victory. In a three-star rated match. Ending that rivalry. And then the main event. Tables matchup. Walter taking on Lince Dorado. One, two, and Walter gets the victory. Three and a half star 